like, hmm, I wonder why nobody cared when he was making jokes about an Af about Africa and, you know, how majority of the people who live in that continent are certain skin tone and race but you know let's not go there let's not go there who knows why nobody cared enough to cancel him about that who who knows who knows i don't do you because yeah you know we'll just we're not gonna touch that you know oh she say steve you who i'm a tad bit irritated because this is my second time having to record this video so that's not fun ah okay so hello again maybe talking about the james charles and the tati westbrook beef thingy magic or whatever so there was so many beefs that like were going on that i wanted to talk about or just chat with you guys on this channel but i couldn't because well, one of them was the Cardi versus Nikki whole situation. And I knew I couldn't talk on it because I would be so biased. Like, I love Nikki. Nikki is my heart. So, y'all, that just would, yeah, and y'all would have been able to tell too that it was biased as hell. So, that was just a no. So, but this one, I don't care for James Charles. I don't care for Tati Westbrook. None of them. I know who James Charles is. Never even knew a Tati Westbrook existed until this whole beef thing started. So I'm on Twitter and James Charles is trending. Number one, I'm like, oh gosh, what he do this time? I go, is James Charles is over? Tati Westbrook just ended him with the video exposing everything he's done. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like, let me go watch this video. First of all, it was 40 minutes. And I'm like, 40 cents? You couldn't condense it? So I'm thinking she's going to tell us stuff we haven't heard before because supposedly she's exposing him. She starts the video with her basically promoting James Charles, his palettes, everything about him, yada, 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 yada. So before I go into the video, like what else she says in the video, I'm going to just say real quick, like just the background to like everything. If you guys are confused or not, or you don't feel like watching a 40 minute video or doing research, James Charles rose to fame in like what, 2017-ish or whatever. He um, had released, or 2016, one of those years. He had took his um, senior pictures and he had highlight. His face would be, he had lashes. He was just looking gorgeous. So everyone ate that up. He moved to Hollywood, started his YouTube channel and started being like a beauty guru, guru or whatever. So I'm guessing when he went to LA, he like kind of moved in with Tati Westbrook or she was just showing him the ropes about the industry and all this other stuff. And basically she was just like, watching out for him in a sense okay so during coachella weekend he posted a ad of sugar bear hair supplements i think that's the name i don't know i'll post this right here so he had posted an ad basically i guess like saying like oh like you know just you know how influencers and like when they like post something so a lot of people in the comments were saying you're a fake friend how could you post this yada 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 because that's basically Tati Westbrook has hair supplements too and that's sugar hair supplements or whatever is basically like her number one competitor and like that's his best friend. So you know how like people in the comments hype like a famous person up to think that there's beef which is what I really think started with the Nicki and the Cardi situation but we're not gonna go there. We're gonna focus on Tati and James. Anyway, she releases an emotional Instagram talking about how she feels betrayed and this and that, yada, yada, yada. So that's how the beat starts. Now let's go back to the video. So basically she talks about that. And first of all, before she even got to that, she was just talking about all the stuff that James has done to her that she hates about him. Like it was literally a 40 minute video. She didn't even get to what we really wanted to hear until like, 20 something minutes and I'm just sitting there like what is it that you have to say that I care about and why is this trending and why are people eating this up and she was just talking about he would come to her house he was so rude he's vulgar this and that she talked about how um he never let her on his channel and this and that and I'm just like oh girl sis first of all you're old as hell he's like 20 like I thought this was gonna be something with substance 
So then she says something which I assume is why everyone's canceling him. And I hope that's the reason and not just because of what everything she was saying. And it was something we already knew, though, because a boy had came out and said James Charles had did that to them. She basically talked about how he liked to play with people's sexuality. And even though he knew certain guys were straight, he would still go for them like in a rude way and this and this and that. And basically spilling all these beans. And my thought was just, you were still friends with him, though. Like, the only reason why you're telling us all this is because you have beef with him. And plus, you want to make money. Because, honey, I did peep the ad in the beginning and the end of the video, sis. Like, we all know how much money you made off this video. So don't even try to make this seem like this is a per like a service announcement or something you care so much that we need to see and the people need to hear. Because all the stuff you exposed him for, we already knew. It's just that nobody cares because it's not in, it's not trending. Like, literally, canceling behavior is just what's in. Like, oh, like, let's cancel him because everybody's talking about it. And it's like, certain people, do not get me wrong, need to be canceled. But then it's like, cer certain times it's just like... <sighs> You guys are so toxic. Like, people aren't human, you know? And like I said, certain people need to be canceled, like I said. So don't take me out of context. But anyway, yeah, that was just my view on it. I just felt like she was just talking about stuff that I didn't care for, that we shouldn't care for, and basically just voicing her frustration with him. And it's like, sis, first of all, you should have been canceled him. After he made the, we, everybody, should have been stopped talking about him after he made the Ebola joke, you know? And it's like, hmm, I wonder why nobody cared when he was making jokes about an Af about Africa and, you know, how majority of the people who live in that continent are certain skin tone and race. But, you know, let's not go there. Let's not go there. Who knows why nobody cared enough to cancel him about that? Who, who knows? Who knows? I don't do you because yeah you know we'll just we're not gonna touch that you know um, and just saying all this stuff he was used to do and how he was disrespectful and you could tell literally like she was just doing this just to do it just to because she's pissed with him and the way he's acting and this is trending everybody on twitter is just hey 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 james charles james charles james charles and i'm just like you guys are so annoying literally so annoying and then what james charles re responds to oh and by the way he's lost like close to two million followers so that's why i'm just like so confused like huh and she's gained like two million followers so what exactly does that tell you anyway he makes a response video apologizing to Tati and how he treated her and this and this and this and this and that, 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 that. And it's like, he gets hella views too. So the people who are watching her video are watching his. But one thing I did peep was he didn't have an ad in the beginning and the end. Because he probably knew people would so call him out for it. Like, dude, you're trying to make money off your apology video. Yeah, he made an apology video basically saying he's sorry, yada, yada. I'm thinking he's going to address the stuff that she said. To be honest with you, I didn't watch it in its entirety because I just really didn't care. But for the most part, he was just apologizing to her and all this stuff. And now people are like, oh, Tati Westbrook, yay. And it's like, no, like she did this for money. All this stuff she was like, I can't take you seriously, like, honey, like, I'm sorry. And it's like James Charles should have been canceled. So there's that. Tati Westbrook, <sighs> we all know why, what you did this for, why you did it. And James Charles is just a fool. He's just, like, people really do not appreciate the things they have, the clout they have, the money they have, and all this stuff. Like, if I was in any of these people's positions, when I tell you I would be a saint, like, I would be a saint. Like, I would be, sm first of all, smart, smart about my money. Maybe, like, why are you guys like this? Like, it's not hard to not be racist or homophobic or anti-Semitic or I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it, anti whatever, or anything. Like, why is this so hard for y'all? Like, oh, oh, child. Well, my time is coming, but yeah. So that was like the whole thing that happened with them. And yeah, so that's my take on it. Um.
out for it. Like, dude, you're trying to make money off your apology video. Oh my God, a crow just flew by my window. Hey, God forbid, I'm protected with the blood of Jesus. Anyway, so what was I talking about? Oof, I hate stuff. I'm very superstitious, superstitious. So I did not need to, hey, he flew again. I'm not stepping outside. I'm not going outside. Because <gasps> this is clearly a sign. Uh-uh. I'm. Oh, where's my Bible? I beg. Let me finish this video.